Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, just outside enjoying a nice night. Um, so today was the solar eclipse. We got to see a little bit of that. That was kind of neat to to see that. Um, a friend of mine shared her glasses uh, with me, so the the sunglass things, so that uh, I could check it out. So um, anyhow, I don't know if this will work or not. Alright, so anyhow, um, I just figured I'd uh, bring you guys up to speed about, you know, myself, and uh, so um, I'm starting a uh, weight loss journey, um, I started it actually this past Saturday, um, I mentioned it in the past, I've been struggling, you know, with losing weight, um, you know, and I'm tired of being a big guy, you know. And, uh, anyhow, so I've, I've tried staying off of fast food and, and, you know, I struggle with not going to fast food restaurants. Um, I tell people it's kind of like my crack cocaine, um, cause I really don't even like it. Um, it's just the convenience of it. So I've done really good recently staying off of fast food. Um, it used to be where I would stay off of it for several months and then I would slip up and have it one time or, and I would be full blown back at it for another six months. And, <coughs> excuse me, um, you know, I've gotten myself to where I, I pretty much make my lunch every day and, um, I, uh, I have a fast food meal every once in a while, but I go right back to having my, my, you know, lunches that I make um so anyhow this past Saturday um I finally got a um I don't know what the name of it is but it's a it's some kind of version of Wygovi it's um I guess it's a weight loss shot um I guess it's very similar to like the diabetes medication that um you know is extremely hard to find um so they prescribed this to me like three months ago and uh, I haven't been able to find it. Well, um, I have a belly button hernia that I need to get um, surgery surgery on because I've had it for a long time and it's it's getting bigger and bigger. And now it's it doesn't hurt, but it's just you can see it through my shirt now, and it's embarrassing and and it's just kind of frustrating, you know. And and that's part of what I think is limiting me from doing you know exercising and lifting weights because. Every time I lift weights and, and really try to exercise to lose the weight, <coughs> excuse me, I apologize, um, the hernia is getting bigger and bigger, so I've kind of stopped doing all that stuff, so that's part of the reason why I think I'm gaining weight. So I finally made the decision, I'm, I'm scared of doing the surgery, I'll be honest with you. Um, there's risks, obviously, because I'm a big guy, and and but... I sat there thinking about it. I talked it over with you know my family, and and I decided that the the benefit of doing the surgery outweighs the risks, in my opinion. So um, I've kind of decided I was going to uh, do the surgery. So anyhow, the doctor that's doing the surgery wants me to do a weight loss surgery first, and um, I had actually asked him if it was something that. I might be able to look at getting done at the same time and um, he had said that he suggests that I do the weight loss surgery first um, I think he said it was gonna be a sleeve um, and then you know six weeks later do the um, do the uh, hernia surgery so that's kind of where I'm at now um, he was able to get me um, the weight loss shot medication um, it's a um, I had to pay for it out of pocket. It was, um, you know, a place that it's a compounding place. Um, it's called Im um, Imagination Compound or, or Imitation Compound or something. Um, that they they use all the same active ingredients, but it's not the ones that the insurance companies will will help pay for. So I got stuck paying for it out of pocket and. It was expensive, but um, I figured it was, it was worth the investment to try because both of my brothers are on very similar medications, all the same ingredients, and, and it's helped both of them. Um, um, 
I'm real close to having diabetes and I don't want diabetes guys you know, you know that scares the hell out of me and both of my brothers got diabetes and I should have tried taking care of myself years ago and but I guess uh, better late than never right so anyhow um I did the first injection on this past Saturday um, it was uh, 0 0.25 milligrams so it wasn't a very big dosage of it um, I believe I do that for a week and then um, um, I think I actually do it for a month and then next month I start the 0 0.50 milligrams and and then you know I'm on that for for a little bit of time and then by then I should be able to I should have lost enough weight for him to to feel comfortable doing the surgery um so what I'm going to be doing for lunches I'm going to be in um um salads for lunches and uh a friend of mine told me that the processed lunch meat is is no good for you too so um I'm going to try to kind of wean myself off of that. I'm going to do the the lunch sandwich lunch meat two days a week and then do salads um, three days a week when I'm at work. and um, Or I might do salads three days and soups two days. Um, um, this shot helps curb, curb the hunger so I'm not hungry, which is nice. Um, you know, in, in the last couple of days I have lost a couple pounds so far um i want to say i lost three pounds um i'm trying not to look at the scale too much because the doctor told me don't because he said you won't see a whole lot of loss the first you know couple weeks but um but anyhow i'm going to uh i'm gonna see how it goes and uh you know i'll take you all along for the ride so um if you guys have any suggestions on on you know what type of a uh, food to eat for a good healthy diet um feel free to let me know um uh keep any negative comments you know to yourself if you would because i i didn't choose to be the size i am you know i'm 330 pounds now and and i always swore i'd never let myself get over 280 pounds and um in the last year i've gained a lot of weight and and i a lot of it is honestly because the hernia is getting bigger and and I can't work out like I had been previously to, to keep myself around the 270, 280 range. But I told the doctor I really want to get back down to 220, 230 because that's when I felt the best. So uh, anyhow, guys, I figured I'd take you along for the journey. So uh, <coughs> I'll keep you posted, let you know how it goes. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know. And uh, God bless you and God bless the USA. Y'all take care of yourselves. I appreciate each and every one of you. Y'all take care. God bless.